I'm here in South Wales after a very heavy rainstorm um, just fell, fell about an hour ago and I stood by a little, what would seem like a little stream uh, just running off the hills behind me here and you can see that it is flowing quite rapidly there's quite a bit of water in there and you might be able to see that it's flowing over a number of different small waterfalls um, some of them made out of uh, uh, underlain by rock there you can possibly see uh, in the background up there underneath that tree now it may seem like a stream but this stream doesn't flow very often most of the time this stream up in its headwaters up here is quite a dry um, bed perhaps a little trickle but as we move down through this you can perhaps see a little better that the water that flows down here is not actually flowing in a stream bed um, it's flowing in a little channel but that channel is grassy it's bounded by grass on either side and as we go down the, the slope a little bit more um, there is a nick point here where the soil is being eroded away by this this this, this torrent a small stream um, but as you can see as we as I pan around that this is quite a grassy field in which this water is flowing across but nevertheless it's quite steep and if we follow the water um, towards the bottom you may be able to see just here that um, the water actually uh, separates into different channels on the uh, on the surface there um, into what we call distributaries so we've got a main channel coming down the hillside bringing this 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 uh, heavy rainfall from the top of the hills down to the uh, what we have in front of us which is a floodplain but as we get towards the bottom it's splitting into little smaller distributary uh, channels um, as it gets down towards the floodplain now if we look at the floodplain extending out behind me you can see there's a very broad plain and in fact there are two rivers in this in this flood in this river valley here but one just in front of us and there's another one further on uh, on the other side of this very broad valley now this floodplain um, is retaining the water that's coming down off the hills being brought down by this stream and you can see that uh, there's a big uh, sort of standing body of water developing just there before you get to the stream it's not actually draining into that river over there um, and the reason for the reason for that water ponding there and not actually getting into the river is because the levee on the river um, which is a raised bank that runs along the river there is actually damming this water back and preventing it from getting into the into the river so we're ending up with these uh, sort of standing bodies of water these ponds almost small lakes on the floodplain during these uh, rainfall events uh, which produce a sort of water water logged uh, uh, floodplain conditions so it's a very interesting um, seasonal effect here that's related to uh, periodic rainfall now if we go down onto the, the floodplain we might be able to see that the slope that the stream was flowing against and I'm just being very careful where I tread here so I don't want to fall over um, the slope um, that this stream is flowing across is actually um, quite cone shaped in outline um, almost like a fan and it almost like a fan and indeed it's what we would call an alluvial fan um, so sediments and mud being deposited by active uh, flowing water but of course this little seasonal stream isn't capable of depositing such a big body of uh, sediment and in fact what we're looking at here is, a, is more or less a relic landform deposited probably at the end of the last ice age when there was a lot of meltwater around in the hills in South Wales around here that would have had enough energy to bring uh, rocks and soil from the tops of the hills up there down towards the floodplains so it's an old relic feature that is occasionally recycled, reused uh, when uh, climatic meteorological conditions like the heavy uh, rainfall we've experienced this morning um, actually brings these small streams back into action um, and there's a little bit of deposition going on, a little bit of erosion, we saw that nick in the, in the hillside there and it's bringing water down onto the floodplain so it's a, a marvellous uh, example of how landscape features get reused and recycled in different time periods uh, under different climates um, an excellent example